The Power of the Dog won Best Motion Picture at the 2022 Golden Globe Awards, and its 12 Academy Award nominations led Netflix to the top of the studio heap for possible Oscars. But the movie's twist ending left some viewers confused. If you have not seen the movie, please stop this video now. I am a veterinary epidemiologist formerly with two state health departments and the CDC, and a public health professor at two universities. I'm also the author of an alphabetical mystery series on zoonoses, which are diseases from animals. The first novel was published by Maya McGuire Media in 2021. You can find links to this novel and my mystery short stories at this website, drmayamaguire.com, and a more complete text of this movie review on the blogs page. My novel Anthracis is named after the bacteria causing Phil's death, Bacillus anthracis. With my anthrax research, how do I interpret the pivotal function of anthrax in the movie? Young Peter deliberately uses anthrax to infect Phil, the domineering cowboy who drives Peter's mother Rose to drink after she marries Phil's brother George. Was Phil's source of exposure plausible? Throughout history, animal hides have been a source of exposure to anthrax spores. In the U.S., people making or using animal hide drums have become infected. Areas like Texas with high cattle populations experience animal cases yearly as the soil becomes contaminated, including spillover to other species like deer. Anthrax bacteria are protected from environmental degradation by the hardy spores, which can come to the soil surface and increase exposures with storms or a warm, dusty climate. For this initial question, I'll award a grade of A. Was anthrax a threat in the American West? The microbe was known by 1925, the time period for the film. Three human cases from Montana were reported in August 1920, and anthrax continues to be a threat in modern-day Montana, with infected herds of domestic cattle and bison. The film establishes anthrax as a risk within the first four minutes when Phil warns about keeping the herd away from a dead cow. He tells cowboys that it's anthrax and not to touch it. Grade A for this question. What were Phil's risk factors for infection? Phil processes cattle hides barehanded. When he castrates a steer, the cowboy asks why he doesn't wear gloves. Phil says they're not needed and jokes when he nicks a thumb. Later, Phil bleeds from a deep cut on his right hand after tossing logs to drive out a rabbit. Phil refuses George's offer of the bathtub and is advised to skip a visit with their parents and the governor if he won't wash up. In 1914, a Nevada veterinarian developed anthrax 16 days after opening up without gloves the carcass of a cow during an increase in cattle mortality. Because that period seemed too long for infection, the physician linked hygiene to risk. He blamed anthrax spores hiding in dirt wedged under the veterinarian's fingernails like a ticking time bomb. Another grade of A. How did Phil get infected? During an ominous evening scene, Peter gives Phil hide strips he removed from a dead cow. The camera focuses on Phil massaging them in a liquid bath. Then he caresses the rope after plating it. The wound on his right hand is clearly visible. Spores can remain in liquids and contaminate the environment. In 1920, a Massachusetts housewife was reported with anthrax after digging dandelions in an area contaminated by the effluent of hide processing vats. Grade A again. Was Phil's illness realistic? When Phil doesn't show up for breakfast, George finds him woozy in bed with a bloody blackened hand. A sweaty Phil knocks away George's help as he stumbles downstairs before George drives him to the doctor. The next scene shows Phil in his coffin. 
Phil's dark, bloody wound doesn't look exactly like a characteristic anthrax lesion. A central black eschar of dead skin is typically surrounded by a swollen, reddened area with no pain, pus, or tenderness. Fever and disorientation occur as the bacteria spread throughout the bloodstream. Based on this slight variation, I'm awarding a grade of B for this question. Was the timeline of Phil's infection authentic? The film implies that Phil is late for breakfast after the night braiding the rope. Developing the hand lesion and systemic signs after that exposure is too quick. Missing the breakfast several days later is more realistic. Perhaps Phil hid his wound until he experienced fever, nausea, and headache, then fell asleep with the wound visible for everyone to see. A review of cases from that era found that septicemia, which is blood infection, typically occurred 48 to 96 hours later. Septicemia is what would cause his fever and disorientation. So the grade is dropping to a C. Why didn't Phil survive his infection? Anthrax treatments were available in 1925 and the doctor sent out laboratory tests. Was he waiting for those results before treatment? He notes Phil's last convulsions were terrible and he's thinking anthrax. Treatments included surgical excision and cauterization. Around 1920, doctors began injections of anti-anthrax serum. In a remote Montana location, the serum may not have been available. However, with the family's wealth and connections, the physician appeared knowledgeable and should have known about treatment options. Finally, autopsies to identify internal swellings and hemorrhages were done in that time period, although perhaps not in Montana. With an open coffin, it did not appear one was done for Phil. For this question, a grade of C. How did Peter know about anthrax, how to spread it, and how to avoid it? Phil tells Peter that anthrax has killed cattle on the ranch. The film lingers on Peter wearing gloves as he removes the dead cow's hide and brings the strips to Phil. Peter consults his deceased father's medical books when he dissects a rabbit and studies medical drawings of infected hands. But Peter doesn't take other precautions like wearing a rubber apron or a bandana over his face when he processes the dead cow. Did Peter take any steps to clean the barn where Phil made the rope? In the final scene, Peter's gloved hands slide the rope under his bed. Then he gazes out the window at George and Rose embracing, their nemesis finally vanquished. But the spores are inside the home. Did the filmmakers intend us to feel both heartened and alarmed? That's the type of ending I give the readers of my novels. For this question, a grade of C. In conclusion, scientists are critical of creative works that don't get the facts quite right. For authentic stories, writers rely on personal experience, insight, consultations, and careful research. Despite the shock of its ending, the power of the dog is credible on its use of anthrax as a premeditated murder weapon. Using anthrax to deliberately kill has precedence. Japan and South Africa laced chocolate with anthrax to poison people. In 2001, a bioterrorist killed Americans through anthrax letters. Writers make difficult decisions about which facts to include without bogging down the story. The creators of The Power of the Dog did a good job at achieving the balance. As a mystery author and animal disease expert, I award the film an overall grade of B on its use of anthrax in a key criminal act. But in conveying the existential, invisible threat of these microscopic organisms, the power of the dog hits a home run. Anthrax is also the villain in my medical thriller, Anthracis, a microbial mystery. Look for links at this website, drmayamaguire.com, or go to your favorite book purchasing venue.